guys, what's up? Welcome back to Mystery Magic. So today is going to basically be a catch-up day for me basically to get back into doing vlogs. So tomorrow will be a vlog and Noah, I watched your video. I understand basically your frustration. I will start wearing the hat and get that stupid uh, little loss basically behind me. But today I'm going to be showing you guys, or actually talking to you guys about my top five favorite magic moments. These are not the tricks, but the moments and the little bit behind the scenes of it. So, hope you guys actually enjoy. Okay, so now, over the last year, I've been doing magic in random places. I've done it at the Detroit Auto Show. I've done it at uh, the Detroit Pistons uh, Court or the, uh, or the Palace of Auburn Hills, which is super cool. I've also done it at the Detroit Tiger Stadium or Comerica Park. Now, my top five moment or my fifth moment that I'm going to be recalling is at the Palace of Auburn Hills. Let me explain. So I did this one trick where I made where I had two coins, an English penny and a 50 cent piece. I placed them both in my hand, closed my hand and asked my and asked my cameraman to name a coin. He could have named whatever coin that he wanted and I made it disappear out of my hand and reappear in my hat. Check it out. Hi, my name is Connor Hoop. This is a basketball hoop. I'm a magician. Here's two coins. English penny, pick this out piece. No one, name a coin. English penny. Gone. Up there. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Now, the next moment would be probably one of my favorite ones, which was the spider prank. Well, now let me bring up a little bit of background check on this. So, we were walking around camp for hours doing this trick to people. And we weren't really getting good reactions until this one reaction. So I went up to these couple of girls and I simply said, Hey, can I show you guys a magic trick? And they were like, yeah, sure, why not? And this girl kind of started to kind of flirt with me a little bit. And she's like, I like your hat. What's on top of your camera? It's the little uh, muff that I made, and basically she started flirting with me a little bit, and I'm like, okay, this is not, this is not going, you know, your direction here. That was until she freaked out at the spider I put on the back of her hand. Not only did she freak out, but her two friends freaked out as well because they didn't even notice it. This is a case where instead of basically pranking someone, you prank everyone. And the best reaction was basically them exploding out in the fear of just, what's on the back of my hand? Ah! Check it out. Think of a playing card. You got one in mind? Yeah. All right, is it the Queen of Diamonds? Nope. No, what was the card? <laughs> Ace of Spades. Move your hand up real quick. Watch. I don't like this. Move your hand over the box. <laughs> I'm sorry, not that hand, this hand, right here, over the box. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Number three was at the Magic Blacklight Party. If you guys are brand new to my channel and you guys are enjoying this, there's a video on my YouTube channel. It's a vlog of mine where I went to a Blacklight Magic Party and I did some magic tricks. There were some other magicians there. We were having fun, hanging out. One of my all-time favorite tricks was I had asked the spectator to basically uh, tell me when to stop. I shuffled the cards. I then asked him to pick one of the cards out of the deck by telling him to stop. He landed on a specific card and I said, all right, cool. I don't know what the card is, but I revealed it using a black light and a highlighter. Check it out. Show the camera, don't show me. Oh boy. <laughs> all right, put it back right there, okay? Okay. Uh, there's no way I can do this part, right? Okay. Got it. Come here. Yeah, watch. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. This next one was also with camp, but it was on the way down to camp. And what happened basically was. These, uh, I was going down with my youth group and some of the kids that were coming down with us had asked me, Colin, you're a magician. Do you have any magic with you right now? 
And then this is what happened. Wait, can you cut this stuff off? Yeah. 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 This is gonna be kind of hard on a, on a moving car. We're gonna try to do a match here. All right. Country. Here we go. Um. Shuffle the cards to the best of your ability. I can't shuffle. Them. Mm. See right there? Did you see that? What'd you just do? Hey, dude, let it. me show you off here, okay? One, two, three, four, going down. Up, oh, almost <laughs> failed. There you go. Uh, okay, so they're shuffled, right? Do me a favor, go ahead and reach in and pull one out. I saw that X go from shuffle. Okay, continue. Um, this yeah, go ahead and show everyone, but don't show me. Okay, it's the first time I want to see. I got it. You got it? That is amazing! Let me see the card quick. I'm not going to look at it. Let me see it. That's his card, right? Right here. Here we go. Check it out. Watch. Gone. Oh my goodness. What? What? Look. I don't think I got that camera. He's <laughs> crying. It's your card! What? <laughs> and then my all-time favorite magic moment. Now the problem with this video before I show it to you guys is the music is copyrighted. So that basically means that I can't make any money off of it and I don't want this video to get copyrighted. So I'm going to be playing some music over it. But to basically tell you guys what's going on, this was at the Detroit Auto Show at basically uh, high school day where all the high school students would come out from all the different schools. We would walk around the floor, basically interview some of the people and ask them questions. It was for a marketing and business class, which is really cool. But as I was sitting there doing that, someone had recognized me from one of my shows and they wanted to show their classmates some magic. Now I didn't have a lot of magic on me at the time. I didn't have a deck of cards, but I had a pencil, a coin, and some other stuff. But besides all of that, the magic trick that freaked them out the most, I twisted my hand 360 degrees. This has probably been one of my favorite tricks I've ever filmed or, ever, or even shown to be quite correct. So check it out.